do and patches are tricky to get right and in this video, I share one approach to tweaking them coming up. Hello and welcome to the video. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Justin and I'm all about worship guitar. Stick around to the end for a bonus where I share where to download the patches featured in this video, including a free pack that contains my setup templates. If we've met before, welcome back. Patches with dual M signal paths. These are not new at all, with Line 6 having introduced the concept way back in the Pod X3 days. The Helix takes the concept one step further by allowing us to freely manipulate the blocks in the signal path to our heart's desire. Dual M signal paths in stereo, you got it. Two amps that can be toggled between one another with a foot switch, you got it. The problem, it can get very confusing very quickly. Today I'm going to share my personal process when conceptualizing the first approach blending two amps, and I hope this will help you get started in creating your own unique setups. I'll be providing my templates that I use to tweak blended amp setups with a free pack that you can download from my Buy Me A Coffee page. Feel free to grab a copy and follow along this video. And while we're at it, please hit that like button. I've owned two physical amps before, a Vox AC15 and a THD Univalve that I played in stereo. One was for chime and the other was for grind. And while each was a magnificent tone beast, when they blended together, the tone was glorious. So the starting question that you should be asking before embarking on a blended amps patch is, what do I need each amp to do? When blending two amps, we want each amp to achieve a certain tonal goal. Practical tip number one, don't be afraid to tweak more extreme EQ settings on blended amp setups. They shouldn't have the same EQ flavor. For example, you might want one amp to have a sweet mid-range by cutting the lows, while the other provide body and girth in the lower end by cutting the mids. Practical tip number two, experiment with hard panning and mono summing. Hard panning each amp to the left and right ears is going to sound different from the two amps sum to mono. I personally think it's easier to post-process a mono sum blended signal since it avoids the issue of having one side louder than the other. Consider a real-world example. Remember my AC15 and Univalve amps? It made a difference to the perception of the tone if I had them right next to each other as opposed to setting them apart. Side by side, the tone was focused and concentrated. But just by setting them one a meter apart, I began to get more clarity, some stereo imaging, and better separation between the bass and treble frequencies. It boils down to what you need the tone to accomplish. If you want a giant stereo spread across your ears, go with hard panning. This works very well for tracking rhythm guitars as well as big ambient swells. If you want a more focused lead tone where you want the guitar to stand out in the mix, consider mono summing.
Of course, this is simplifying the practical applications a little, but it's my starting point when conceptualizing the approach. Which leads us into today's bonus. The package you heard in today's music is from my 2 Amps pack, which contains a variety of setup configurations and the results of my tonal experiments. As it is with all my patch packs, it's a continual work in progress, so things get updated all the time. If you do download it, save the link so that you can refresh it every now and then for free updates. Question of the day, what are your favorite M flavors that you consider blending? I'd love to hear your ideas and thoughts in the comment section below. That's it for me, thank you for watching this video. Feel free to share this video with someone whom you know is interested in dual amp helix tones. If you've gotten value out of this video, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell notification button, and treating me to a coffee to support these videos and my ministry. Till next time, I'm Justin, and I'm all about worship guitar.